everybody, my name is Caitlin Garrow and welcome back to Sword Performance Healthy Hydration. Today we're going to be covering electrolytes, why they're important in our bodies and highlight why we focus on sodium electrolytes in our sword line. Back again with me today, of course, is Dr. Sean Stasco, our Sword Performance co-founder. Hi, Sean. Hello. Hi there. Sean, why don't you tell us what are electrolytes? I would love to. Electrolytes are positively or negatively charged ions that are found in every fluid in our body. They have many roles, but the two primary roles they serve are to transmit brain functions, uh, transmit electrical signals from your brain through your nerves to your muscles and organs so we can move the machine. The second function of electrolytes are that they are the master regulator of fluid in our body. Each electrolyte, based on different body fluids, pull water in different places. Would you say then that electrolytes are a key component to helping your body stay hydrated? Absolutely. And you said before that each electrolyte serves a different purpose in the body. Can you break down the different electrolytes within the body and how they work? Absolutely. So there are quite a few electrolytes, but the most common four that we are used to hearing about is sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. These are all positively charged ions that are commonly found in human sweat. Amongst those four, sodium is king. We lose 80 to 90 percent sodium, and then the other three kind of follow suit. So behind that would be potassium, then calcium, then magnesium. And why that is, is because our sweat glands, which are responsible to help us stay cool, eject sodium and water follows in order for heat to be expelled from our body. So we're losing all this fluid. We're losing a lot of electrolytes. So what does our electrolyte composition look like in sweat? I have the perfect example for that. Oh, oh, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> So as you can see in this visual here, we have four piles of electrolytes. And this represents an average amount of electrolyte that are lost in one liter of sweat. This pile here on the left is sodium. And it's about 805 milligrams of sodium per liter of sweat. Next to that on the right, much smaller pile is potassium, about 195 milligrams per liter. Calcium, way down to 20. And then finally, this little tiny pile is magnesium. In essence, about 80 to 90%, depending on our genetics and what we're doing, will change the amount of sodium we lose, but largely, it's mostly sodium. So you said before that when we're sweating um, and losing electrolytes, that sodium is king. Tell us now, why do we put so much sodium in sword? So sodium is our most essential electrolyte, especially because it's the one that's lost most in sweat. And that's one of the biggest reasons why we put the amount of sodium back into sword as we do. Sodium has quite a few physiologic functions that are essential to peak performance. So to better help explain what sodium and potassium are doing in our body or in our bloodstream, let's talk about it with a graphic. Let's, because I understand pictures. Here you can see a highway. The highway in this situation represents our bloodstream, where everything is moving smoothly. Oxygen, proteins, carbohydrates, fuels, and electrolytes, they're all on the highway. When we are exercising or sweating or working hard, now we get into a situation where there's construction and it knocks off one of these lanes. So you don't have as many lanes for things to move smoothly because your blood volume is going down. What sodium does is keep putting those cars and things on the road. When you drink water and you have sodium or things like sword, you open up that construction lane and it doesn't get constricted. It's essentially the same and it keeps going. So what you're saying is during exercise or hard work, you want those cars to continue moving on the highway. You want to get to your destination destination as fast as possible, not get off the exit ramp and take some back winding country road to get there. That is absolutely correct. All roads lead to the end, but you want to get there as most efficiently as quick as you can, right? Absolutely. I don't have time for this. Yeah. I don't have time yeah. to leave Mount Rushmore. I got things to do. Yeah. And real people to Places see. Places to go, people to see. Real to people do. to see. I got work to do. As you know, a lot of people often ask us, why don't we have potassium in our sword product? The reason we don't have potassium in sword is because we chose to make a compromise. For 
exercises that are less than four hours, your body really doesn't sweat out enough potassium, calcium, or magnesium to warrant replenishing it because potassium, calcium, magnesium don't facilitate fluid movement through the small intestine. Meaning, it's not really that important to help your body move fluids quickly, keep cars on the highway, and help keep signals transmitting. That way you can maintain performance. When you look at the scientific literature, it's always sodium that is shown to be the electrolyte that's essential for maintaining performance and helping to eliminate heat, not potassium, calcium, and magnesium. They're just byproducts of what's actually happening. So we chose not to use potassium because we don't want there to be a slow in the stomach. So you don't feel heavy, you don't feel sloshy. It's really comfortable and you can drink a lot of the fluid quickly because you're thirsty. And we chose to use the amount of sodium we do to mimic kind of what's lost in sweat, but also we know how much fluid gets out of the gut and into the bloodstream via sodium. So we know that concentration, so we put that back into sword. That way you maximize the amount of fluid lost and you minimize the amount of upset stomach feeling you get when you drink it. Ultimately, what this leads to is a very drinkable product. Cold, warm, if you're hot outside, if you're in a blast furnace, you're on the soccer field, it doesn't matter. Working hard or not, your body's gonna absorb it quick. So, in our shield line, we do have a nice balance of potassium and sodium. Can you explain that a little bit? So, in our shield line, we have both potassium and sodium and actually a three to one ratio, which means three times as much sodium as there is potassium. And the reason for that is when you're using shield, it's more for something at rest. You want this to be something that hydrates you both inside and outside your cells is more of a holistic approach to hydration and full body hydration fluid maintenance as opposed to just hardcore hard work sweat support basically is what sword is. What you're saying is electrolytes are a key component to helping stay hydrated. Absolutely. Keeping cars moving on the highway um, to make sure that you get to where you're going. And by that, we mean you hit your peak performance and you are able to stay at that elevated peak status. And finally, we have a nice balance of potassium and sodium, both of which are important, found in our shield line, which is great for light activity or just something to drink to, again, maintain your, your hydration status or to stay hydrated. And then we have our sword, which is our high-level hydration, again, designed for peak performance with a focus on sodium electrolytes because that's what you lose the most of when you sweat. Sword, sweat. I think that's it for this week. Thank you everybody for joining us about electrolytes and why we focus on sodium electrolytes and sword performance products. Be sure to join us again next week as we discuss carbohydrate fuel. And as always, like our page, follow, and subscribe so you can see all of our videos as we upload them here. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay hydrated. Hello everybody, my name is Sean Stasco. This is Caitlin Garrow. She's occupied right now. <laughs> I don't have much to work to do and I'm just extremely awkward. Today we'll be talking about... And noise in the background. It's crushed ice. <laughs> Sounds cool. Are we gonna burn some carbohydrates? Oh. Ask yourself if you're helping. <laughs> oh, we can use a bomb calorimeter! That's not my sign out. <laughs>